One of the biggest mistakes I see businesses and business owners and entrepreneurs in general make is subscribing to the idea that they have to throw money at every single problem. The challenge with this belief system is that if you don't have the money, you start thinking, well, there's nothing I can do. It takes money to make money and you start falling into this trap of thinking that you're completely stuck simply based on a revenue situation. So today we're gonna to be talking about what you must do in order to grow a business with a limited budget. And guess what? It's the exact same thing you gotta do if you have an unlimited ad budget. And we're gonna be talking about three things you must do in order to grow that following that you're gonna to have to have online to grow your business to where you want it to be. What's up my friends, JT DeBolt with you today for the Elite Marketing Pro Daily Dose of Awesome, your 15 minutes of inspiration, education, and motivation to help you get your day started off right. As you're jumping out here, let me know where you are tuning in from, and as you do, let me say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time it is for you, no matter where you might be tuning in from on the Big Blue Marble, thanks for joining us here each and every single Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. Always a ton of fun. Seeing some folks jumping out here. What's up, Sharon? Good to see you, my friend. I loved spending some time with you this weekend. You are, uh, you're awesome, my friend. I love you so much. Aaron, what's going on? Rose Leak, what's happening? Alberta, Canada, hopefully you guys are staying out of the snow. <laughs> uh, I just had some friends uh, in Calgary post pictures about the snow. Um, Jan, what's going on? Good to see you, Jan. As always, I appreciate you. And Everybody else jumping out. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's great to be with you guys. Stoked to be with you on a Tuesday, by the way. It feels like a Monday. I just flew in yesterday from Los Angeles. Had an awesome time with our friends and students at the Fast Track Workshop. Man, always, always a lot of fun to get down and, uh, you know, work down and, you know, get down and get our hands dirty with the stuff that you got to do to grow your business. So, this weekend, as I was just saying, I spent some time with, with a lot of our amazing friends in the Fast Track community at the uh, LA workshop. And on the flight home, I got to thinking about how it's very easy to fall into a trap, even as a seasoned business owner. Even if you've been around the block a few times and if you've grown and scaled your business to a high level, it's very easy to fall into the trap of thinking, hey, you know, we've got a problem that came up, a situation that came up that snagged our business, we're gonna have to throw some money at the problem. Now, I'm not here to say that it's necessarily always uh, a bad option, okay? Sometimes you're gonna have to, case in point. When I first got started in business, I had a mentor that told me, really, JT, in business, you only have two buckets. You got, you got two buckets. One is time and one is money. And when you're short on one, you're going to have to tap into the other. So if you're short on time, you're going to have to tap into the money bucket. If you're short on money, you're going to have to tap, tap into the time bucket. And I can't tell you, my friends, how many times in my business career this has shown up, and not just in my business career, in the uh, path and the journey to the people that I've helped build their businesses as well. What's interesting about this is, if you think about it, really that's what you have when it comes to building a business. I'm not talking about life, I'm not talking about fitness and relationships, I'm talking about specifically building a business because yes, there is an element where there is money required. You have to have an ad budget, right? You have to have the, the money to be able to get and go places, you have to be able to buy equipment and buy supplies. There's certain things that you have to have in place financially in order to build your business. But do not fall into the trap that money is everything. Because one of the most important things you can be doing is building a following online. That following can be the pathway, in fact, it's not just the pathway to riches or the pathway to success or the pathway to the lifestyle and the results that you want. It's one of the most necessary assets that you can build. And what's really cool about it is it's an asset that you can use again and again. You can apply it to different things that you do in your business. And it's something that will actually follow you for the rest of your career. Now, when we talk about a following, that can mean a lot of things. When you think of the word following, an online following, what does that mean to you? Go ahead and type that into the chat box. I'd like to know uh, what your definition of a following is. Uh, and then we'll get, we'll get kind of down more specific on it and talk about three ways that, three things that you must be doing right now to actually build a following, even on a limited budget. So what's up, Richard and Joanna? Good to see you, man. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. We had some fun this weekend, didn't we? Evelyn Puckett coming in from Colorado. Man, we got a lot of folks from Colorado. I was a CU buff, graduated uh, a while back. Won't say when. Don't want to date myself. But uh, yeah, I love my Colorado peeps. Chris Addison's in the house. Valentine, what's going on? Ruth, what's happening? Um, lots of folks coming in. Let's see. 
Colleen coming in from Roanoke. What's happening? Um, here's the thing. If you guys, uh, let me know what you think about when you think of the term following. When that, what does that word, that word actually mean to you? Because it's super important that you understand how we go about building something is our understanding of what it is we're building. And one thing that's a, a really important thing, I'll guide, a differentiation I want you to take on board, no matter where you are in your journey as a business owner, is to realize, hey, if you want to gauge your progress in business, you can't gauge it on how you feel about it. Right, you can't go. Well, I've been working at this for a set amount of time, whatever that time amount is, and by now I should be somewhere. By now I should have this result. By now I should have this. Those, that's you. you there's not much use in that. There's really not anywhere, any, not a whole lot of value really in having that mindset. What you have to do is actually step back and look at what you've built. All right, what have you built? What can you tangibly, you know, either put your hands on or put your eyes on and go, yes, I did that. So following. This is something that you have to actually build. And a lot of times I think people go, well, listen, I should be here. I should be there. I should have gotten this result. And those things are kind of completely uh, unapplicable until you actually figure out what it is you've built. And one of the most important things you can build for your business success, especially online. Now, what does that mean to you when you guys know that? John says, people who know and trust you. Exactly. These are people who didn't know you before. They could be complete strangers, right? So you could be from somewhere like in Southern California, like Wendy Weiss is, right? And somebody that's following you could be in Auckland, New Zealand, for instance. They don't have to be people that you physically interact with. In fact, they don't have to be people you've ever met. A following is anything that is a person that, that knows you and trusts you, kind of like what John Bryan was saying. Maybe you haven't built a trust yet, but they at least know you and they like you. They're at least willing to show up and listen to what you have to say. Now, there's lots of different mediums by which they can do this. They can do it on Twitter and social, you know, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, social media, in other words. Uh, they can follow you on your list. And that was kind of what I was uh, kind of a, um, alluding to a moment ago is your following, whether it's a social media following or a tangible email list, people that have actually emailed, they've opted into your funnel, and now they are on your list, that is one of the single most important, those two things are the single most important assets that you can build for your business. Now, what keyword did you just hear me say when I said that? What keyword in that statement, one of the most, I said the two most valuable assets you can build for yourself and your business. What's the keyword there? Go ahead and type it in the chat box if you caught that. Richard and Johanna said, no, like, and trust. Yes, Aaron Ir Irway says, following your peeps, the people who think you are awesome and want to know who you are and uh, what you're up to and, and how they can get involved with you. Exactly, girlfriend. You nailed it. That's the kind of stuff. Listen, when people follow you, they don't do it because they're bored, right? They don't do it because they're sitting around on the couch and they got nothing better to do. They follow you because there's something about you that is compelling to them. There's something about you that, that, that speaks to them. And I'm going to talk to you about three ways you can get that done here in just a second. What's the key word you guys just heard me say? Uh, list, asset, you, assets, assets. Yes, it's a great way to define your following. Um, you guys are on the right path. And actually, frankly, all of those words are applicable. Your list, asset, and you, all of those three, those could all uh, tangibly be the key word to that phrase. But what I wanted you to really key in on is what you have built. What you have built, okay? The, the two most important assets that you have built are a following and a list. And the word built is important and I want you to really focus in on it because it takes time. Number one is it takes time. The other thing it takes is it takes commitment. You know, you have to actually show up and do it and of course you have to be consistent. So how do we do this? And remember, the context of today's conversation is how do you do this on a limited budget? And here's the key part and I kind of gave you a spoiler alert in the description and when I was talking about this. These three things can be done whether you have a limited budget or an unlimited budget. And here's the beautiful part, they're both free. Now, it's important you understand this because what was the first thing I said when we started? I was talking about one of the biggest mistakes I see people make in businesses, and by the way, not just solopreneurs, right? And not just startups. I see this happen with companies and organizations and big, big you know, um, uh, brands. They feel like they have to throw money at every single problem. 
Well, here's the deal. Just like my mentor told me early in my stage, I'm telling you right now, you only have two buckets in business. One is time and one is money. And if you're short on one, you're going to have to tap into the next one. So if you're short on money or even if you're flush with money, here's what you got to be able to do. You have to be able to set aside the time to actually build the following and to build the list, to build the know, like, and trust factor so people will actually show up to you. So how does that happen? The first step is you have to come in and you have to be authentic. Number one, step number one, everything you do has to be authentic. So if you're going to do something like a Facebook Live, does Facebook Live cost you anything? Does it cost you anything to do a Facebook Live? I'm talking financially. Now remember, in the context of what we were talking about, time or money, does it cost you any money to actually put on a Facebook Live? I'm just curious if you see that. Because if you think it costs time to put or it costs money to put on a um, put on a Facebook Live, I think you're overthinking it. You're saying, well, yeah, you have to have electricity and you have to have a, you know the internet and you have to have something like a device to capture it so it costs you money. Okay, you win. I get it. But what I'm talking about is the act of actually doing the Facebook Live. No, you don't have to pay for advertising time, like getting on the television, right? Think about the Super Bowl. Any type of a, of a advertiser has to pay big bucks, millions of dollars for a few seconds of eyeball attention during the Super Bowl. You don't have to do that with a Facebook Live. You don't have to pay anybody. You just have to show up, turn it on, and get some. And the fact of the matter is I see a lot of people get hung up on it and they start falling down these BS excuses. Well, I'm an introvert. I'm shy. I don't know what to talk about. My story is not significant. And they start filling up this bucket full of what could have been opportunity but they fill it full of crap. Don't do that. Listen, here's the simple reality. There are a lot of people out, right, out there right now that are in pain, a lot of people that are confused, a lot of people who uh, have big dreams and desires and they want to move forward, but they don't know how to do it. You have the opportunity to at least be the conduit for them to better understanding. Perhaps it's something that you've experienced in your past. Perhaps it's something that you've learned since you've been here with EMP. Maybe you've gone through AMF and you picked up a nugget of information that they don't have. What would happen if you could introduce them to that same information? It might be the difference maker in their business, the difference maker in their life that they wouldn't normally have had. And this is just like I was talking about this weekend. Uh, Sharon, if you want to jump in, you know the keyword, right? Because you and I talked about this and you were, you were awesome about sharing it this weekend. There is, a, there is an important word that we all have uh, kind of sitting on our shoulders when it comes to spreading our message and actually going out there and building a following and helping people. Um, and if Sharon, if you want to share it, great. If not, I'll jump in and, and say what it is in a minute. But remember, the, step, the first step to this, to building a brand or to building a following or building your list is you have to be authentic. What does it mean to be authentic? Number one, it means you got to talk about your stuff. Don't worry about somebody else's stuff. One of the biggest challenges entrepreneurs have is this, this like they beat themselves up over comparitis. They compare themselves to somebody else who's in, who's in uh, you know, a higher echelon of success. They have big, bigger, better results in their mind. Well, guess what? You compare, you despair. Compare and despair is not the way to build a business. It's not the way to lead people. Instead, You've got to take a step back and look at what you've done. What have you done in the past? What have you accomplished? And, you, and everybody's accomplished something. And it doesn't necessarily have to be in business. Case in point, I like to tell the story about my uh, path to becoming a naval aviator. I talk about how many times I was rejected by the U.S. Navy. I talk about how many times teachers, coaches, friends, family members told me I couldn't do it. And I tell that story because it's directly applicable to business. But that has nothing to do. It doesn't say, oh, and then I went on to make this kind of money. There's your story about how you overcame a learning disability or how you got through a tough time. Maybe it was a divorce. Maybe it was an illness. Maybe it was the loss of a loved one. Those types of things matter to people. And how come they matter? Because it's real life. People want real life. They, listen, they're going to be impressed by the big money and the cars and the house they, to, an, to an extent. But the lasting, deep, really impactful stuff is you. So all you have to do is be authentic, and what that means is, is to go to what's true to you, not what you think everybody else wants, what's true to you. Be vulnerable, and also go deep, right? Go deep on what you, what you believe in. Go deep on what that pain's like. Go deep on what it is that uh, you've experienced in the past, and you're going to see something pretty amazing, and there is my girl, Sharon. The word that I said was responsibility, right? It's our responsibility 
to get the message out there. It's our responsibility to share our insights, to be authentic. It's our responsibility to get the message out there. So if you're sitting there doubting yourself, if you're sitting there saying, I can't do this, I shouldn't do this, or I gotta wait, I need more time, I need more experience, I need more knowledge, I need more whatever, stop. Just stop that banter right now and get yourself ready to get out there. You don't have to have a big following. You're not gonna have a big following. In the beginning, I had no following. And there's a lot of folks out there who are way bigger, way more influential. They got more of a bit, you know, a bigger following on social and all these other things. They started from ground zero too. So remember that. Everybody starts from, from ground zero. It's up to you to build yourself past that, all right? By the way, if this is, if this is uh, landing for you, if, you're, if this is registering for you, give me a one in the chat box. I wanna see what's going on in your heads here. Yeah, Margaret, you do have to tell your story. And you, you know that because we were, you were in the workshop this weekend. You, you remember how important that is. Uh, Jamel Applewhite, be you, everyone else is already taken. Heck yeah, girlfriend, that's what I'm talking about. Or bud, sorry, dude. My apologies. Uh, Wendy, don't should yourself. Exactly. That's one of the best ways to get yourself stuck and to stay, stay like stagnant and not move forward is to say, hey, man, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to should myself. I should do this. I should do that. I should have done this. I should have done that. It gets you nowhere, right? So the first part about this is you got to be authentic. Step two is you got to be relevant. Now, what does that mean? Relevance is not about, hey, you know, I've got to be hip. I've got to be up to speed on everything. I've got to be talking about what's, what's the latest thing. So let me look and see what all the political headlines are. Let me see what all the uh, you know, social headlines are. Let me see who's popular in Hollywood. That's not what we're talking about. Think about what's going on in the hearts, minds, and souls of the people you want to help, aka your audience. What's going on for them? What are their pains? What are their desires? What are the things they've been through? What are the things that have tripped them up? What are the things that are their insecurities? We have to get to a place where we can actually speak to that, illuminate it for them so they stop lying to themselves, stop burying it, but also give them a sense that it's possible to get past it. That means you're going to have to give them a little bit of hope, right? You're going to have to demonstrate there's hope. But at the end of the day, can we do it for them? Are we responsible for moving them forward? No. Remember, a moment ago, Sharon shared that word responsibility. It's not our responsibility to move them forward. It's our responsibility to share our message so we can inspire them, so we can give them something to work with. The next step to this, though, if we're going to be relevant, is we have to be speaking to the stuff that matters to them. They're not, listen, and also, not just matters to them, but matters to getting them to move forward. That's how come I'm saying it's not about politics. It's not about what everybody else's opinions are and all this other BS. It's about stuff that actually helps. So go back and realize, listen, use your resources that you have right now. What can you teach somebody based on your experience here with EMP? What can you teach somebody or share with somebody that you've seen recently or learned from that, that rattled your world? That's how come I say, listen, if this message uh, resonates with you, share it with somebody that you think might benefit from it. Share it with somebody who might be down in the dumps. Share it with somebody who might be kicking butt, but they're on the verge of like tipping you know, that tipping point, but they haven't quite tipped it yet and they just need that extra little nudge. If you do that for them, that's gonna be relevant to them. It's gonna be relevant and what, what is relevant? Relevant is value. That's how you become valuable. I think a lot of times we confuse value by saying, well, let me just throw a bunch of content at somebody. Let me throw a bunch of information. That's fine, but now we have to challenge ourselves, do the extra hard work, the extra heavy lifting and ask ourselves, is what I'm sharing relevant? Is it, is it going to answer that all important question? Every single person asks themselves, what's in it for me? Does it answer that question? Do we have something that's going to actually be valuable to them and help them move the needle? That's how we actually add value, all right? It's by being relevant. So if this is making sense, give me a two in the chat box. I wanna see the twos. There are lots of ones before. And I wanna see some twos now. Man, there's a lot of ones, <laughs> a lot of ones. Good on you. I'm thrilled to hear that. Here's the thing. One thing I will tell you is the mo most authentic you can be is, the, is how you stay true to yourself. This is how it, you're going to actually feel amazing about it because you're not going to feel like you're faking it till you make it. That fake it till you make it thing, that's a dangerous slippery, slippery, slope, slippery slope, right? Nobody's perfect. And if you've ever been around, you've heard me say this, one of my mantras, one of the phrases I coined is don't be perfect, just be awesome. 
And the simple reality is if you can drop this notion that you have to be perfect, you have to be prepared, everything's got to be perfect, then you can flip the camera on and go live and not worry about flubbing your line like I just did a minute ago, right? You don't have to be perfect, you just have to be freaking awesome. And everybody here listening, including you, my friend, has that inside of you right here, right now. But you got to have a little bit of courage, all right? You got to be able to get over yourself and get yourself out there because it is your responsibility to do that. All right, cool. So I'm seeing lots of twos in here. That's awesome. Thank you for your participation. I appreciate you guys. Sharon says, fail forward. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The third and final step that I want to share with you today is you have to be consistent. You have to be, right? So we talked about being uh, authentic. We talked about being relevant. Now it's about being consistent. And here's the thing that's super important. If you are authentic, it's not going to be hard to be consistent. If you're trying to be somebody else, it's going to feel like hard, heavy work, and you're, not, you're going to burn out. You're just not going to, you're not going to have that consistency, right? If you're relevant, then you're going to be more enticed and more excited to actually share stuff that people, because because it actually works, right? It actually helps people. And doesn't that feel amazing when you help somebody? We as human beings are engineered to want to help our fellow man or woman, right? That's just how we're built. It's in our DNA, DNA. It's in our psychology. And it doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter what your skill set is. It doesn't matter where you've been, where you're coming from. It matters that you, that you realize, hey, we're just sort of engineered, genetically speaking, to be helpers. We want to help other people. So if you're coming from a place of authentically wanting to help folks and you realize, hey, you did a little bit of research to figure out what people actually need and want, it's going to be really, really straightforward and pretty simple to stay consistent. And if for some reason you fall off the wagon, you can get right back on again. Consistency is huge. Consistency develops the trust part of the no like, and trust. If you jump out one time, they're going to go, oh, hey, they're going to be aware of you. If you, if you show up three or four times here and there, they're going to start to go, hey, I, I kind of remember that person. I, I remember seeing their face, hearing their voice a few times. Then the more you keep doing it, they're going to get to like you. But... If you show up consistently, if you show up at roughly the same time or the same day, just like we say, hey, come here, join us here every single Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, you get to trust us because you know we're going to deliver for you. You know that five days a week, there's going to be a person that comes out here and shares from a place of authenticity, stuff that's relevant to you right now. And we're consistent about it. So listen, this is the role model that we do here at EMP because we want to show you something super simple. It costs us zero money to put on the Daily Dose of Awesome. It costs you zero money to put on your own version of that. Whether you do it as a Facebook Live, whether you do it as a podcast, whether you do it as an email broadcast to your list, if you want to build a following online, those are the three things you must do. And here's the beautiful part. You do not need to have a huge budget. In fact, if you have a huge budget, you still have to do this. Those three things you must do, whether you're big time or you're just starting off. If you're just now getting onto the, uh, going to the starting line to start the game or you've been running the marathon for a while, realize that those three things about being authentic, being relevant, and being consistent will help you build your following online. It will help you build your list. It will help you build all the things that you're going to need to build so that you can grow that business to where you want it to be starting right here, right now, today. All right, my friends, well, that just about wraps it up. If you got value from this, give me a five in the chat box, as in like a high five. I want to know if this rocked and rolled for you. And if you did, and there was something specific you got out of it, go ahead and throw it into the chat box. I'd love to know one big takeaway that you got from this, something that you can use, because here's the good news. People will read the comments in here, and it might help spark their understanding of the message. It might even be your comment might be the big shift that they have. They might say, oh, yeah, man, that was mine, too. And then they're going to understand you better. And you know, you never know. You yourself might actually get a follower out of those comments. So there is something in it for you as well. I see lots of fives coming into the chat box. Go ahead and give me your comments in the, in the chat box here. Even after you've seen this, even if you're watching it as a recording, if you've got a big takeaway from this message today, put it in the chat box. I'll look forward to seeing what you got from it. With that, my friends, that just about wraps it up for today. Remember to join us here each and every single Monday through Friday at 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. And remember, no matter what course you fly in life, fly high, fly fast, and fly far. We'll see you guys real soon. Take care.